Hello, this little video is going to show you how to calculate the missing length of a trapezium if you're given the parallel sides and you're given the area and we have to calculate the perpendicular distance. If you are confident at finding the area of a, trapezi a trapezium, if you're given that, that and that, um, that's fine, you can proceed with this video. If not, you must be able to find the area of a trapezium um, before you carry on with this video. So check out the link below and that will tell you how to find the area of a trapezium. Once you've gone through that video, this one will make a lot more sense. Okay, well, let's, let's have a look. So I want to calculate the missing side there. Well, obviously on your exam paper, it's very unlikely to have a question mark. It's more likely to be a letter. So let's call it X, calculate X. Well, to do that, we have to know the formula for the area of a trapezium, which is half the sum of the parallel sides times the space between them. So let's have a look at what we would do. I'm just going to plug these numbers. I'm going to substitute what numbers I've got into the formula. Uh, let's have a look. So a half multiplied by a plus the parallel sides, 12 plus eight is 20. And after that, I've got to multiply it by the height, but I don't have a number to put in. I've only got the letter X. When I've done all that, I get an answer of 40. It might do you some good as well to watch out to, to watch the video on solving equations. But let's have a look at this. Half of 20 is 10. So 10x equals 40. Well, the inverse of times 10 is divide 10. So x equals 4 centimetres. Now remember we're finding a length, not the area, so it's not 4 centimetres squared. That's really irritating when people mix up their areas with their lengths. Make sure you get your units right. Four centimetres. Now let's just go through the little song. Let's find the area if we were told that that is four. We've just calculated that that's four. Let's have a look. Half the sum of the parallel sides, 12 plus eight is 20. Half of that is 10. 10 times four is 40. So yes, that's correct. I'll do another example. Let's say I have an isosceles trapezium and that might look something like this. Here's the trapezium, very badly drawn, but you get the idea. Now, if the area is 72 centimetres squared and we're told that that parallel side is 11 and that one is 7, we want to calculate the perpendicular height, the space between them. So we know that if we were given that and we weren't given that, we'd have to say half the sum of the parallel sides times the space between them. Well, the space between them is X. That's the best I can do at the moment. But I am told that the area is 72. So when I add the parallel sides, half them, and then multiply it by that, number there, I get 72. I'm going to sort out this horrible looking thing here. There's X's and fractions, just looks nasty. Well, bid mass, brackets first, 7 plus 11 is 18. Half of 18 is 9. So this little lump of numbers here is 9. So 9 times the height is equal to 72. Times tables in disguise, 72 divided by nine is eight centimetres. Uh, let me just double check, half the sum, so 11 plus seven is 18, half the sum of the parallel sides times the space between them, so nine eighths are 72. So I've just done a quick check in my head and eight centimetres is lovely. Right, I'll do one more example and then you can have a go at some by pausing the video. Have a calculator handy. Don't let your lack of confidence in your times tables hold you back from actually doing these questions. Um, you can work on your times tables separately, but just make sure you get the method. So here's a trapezium. Um, let's have a right, a right trapezium. 
So two right angles. So the parallel sides are three and nine. And I'm going to tell you that the area is 24 centimetres squared. So we're going to calculate this missing height here. So half the sum of the parallel sides times the space between them. That is how we calculate the area of a trapezium. Let's have a look what's going on here. Bit mass, three plus nine is 12. Half of 12 is six. So six X equals 24. Remember this little lump here. So the six, all of that is replaced with six. 6x equals 24. The inverse of times by 6, look at the video on solving one-step equations if you're not sure what's going on here. 24 divided by 6 is 4 centimetres. I'm just going to do a quick check. That was 4, I said that was 4, that's 3, that's 9. I want to know what the area is. 9 plus 3 is 12, half of 12 is 6, 6 times 4 is 24. Half the sum of the parallel sides times the space between them. That is how we calculate the area of a trapezium. I'm going to put the links to finding the area of a trapezium and solving a one-step equation in the description box if this is a little bit sort of one or two steps ahead of you. If the video is going too fast, if my pace is too fast for you, I strongly recommend you watch the two videos I've suggested. Let's do another one. Here's an isosceles trapezium. Again, I'm sorry about the quality of my drawings. The area is 88 centimetres squared. The lengths are 16 and 6. And we want to know the height, the distance between them. So I'll do one more. Half the sum of the parallel sides times the space between them. That is how we calculate the area of a trapezium. So let's have a look. A half times 16 plus 6 multiplied by the space between them will give me 88. So add up the parallel sides, half them, times it by the height. Let's do big mass. 16 plus 6 is 22. A half of 22 is equal to 88. Half of 22 is 11, so 11x equals 88. Therefore, x equals 88 divided by 11 is 8. Get the units right, it's a length, so it's only centimetres. Now I'm just going to quickly check in my head that if I put 8 centimetres in there, will it work? 6 and 16. Half the sum, so 16 plus 6 is um, 22, half of that is 11, 11 eighths are 88. Yes, it all sort of ties up. So there we are. Right, I'm going to put um, a few for you to do. I suggest you have some scrap paper and a calculator ready and let's have a look at what's going on. Here's one for you to try. Mm, 19. I'm deliberately making the numbers a bit nastier so you've actually got to think about what you're doing. Oh, I nearly put the height in there. Let's have the area. That would have made it a bit simple for you, wouldn't it? Give me the area and the height, there'd be nothing for you to do. Right, so there's one. Here's another one. People don't like them when they're upside down, but you know, it still works. Let's call that eight, this length 10, and the area is 45 centimeters squared. Um, here's another one. Half the sum of the parallel sides times the space between... Oh, I don't like that drawing. It's because I'm multitasking, singing and drawing at the same time. Obviously not my, my talent. Half the sum of the parallel sides times the space between them. That is how we calculate the area of a trapezium. Let's call them millimetres. Let's mix it up and get a bit brave. And then finally, another isosceles... And the area is 480 metres squared. That length is 30 metres. This length is 50. Calculate the height, the space between them. So find x 
in each of the cases. Press pause and have a go. Use scrap paper, use a calculator, off we go. Okay, so you've had a go. Let's look at the answers. So, half the sum of the parallel sides. So, 19 plus 31, 19, 20, 50. Half of 50 plus 31 is 25 so 25x equals 75 and x equals 75 divided by 25 25 50 75 so it goes in three so x is three centimeters i hope you got that right let's look at number two half the sum of the parallel sides so 10 plus 8 is 18 half of 18 is 9 9 times the height will give me 45, so 45 divided by 9 is 5 centimetres. Hope you got that right. Let's look at this one. 20 plus 14 is 34, half of that is 17, so 17 times the height will give me 153. Well, 153 divided by 17 is actually nine centimeters hope you've got that right and finally looks a big number they look nasty but you know what once you know the method you're okay so 50 plus 30 is 80 half of 80 is 40 40 times the height so 40 times the height will give me 480 well 480 divided by 40 and divide by 10 48 divided by 4 is 12. So x here is 12 metres. Remember metres. Well, I hope you got those right. Really well done if you did. And um, yeah, hope it helped. Bye bye.